Welcome back YouTube. I promised I'd do um, a video on this. This is a comparison between two translations of Marcus Aurelius's uh, meditations. One is from the Folio Society and one is from the Eastern Press. Two different translations, two different publishers. Um, if you watched my video, I did a comparison of three publishers, the Folio Society, the Eastern Press, and the Franklin Library. Not the same books. I just went through their physical appearances, their pros, their cons, etc. So you can find that um, if you search through my videos. I'll put a link to it in the description below as well. Now, a lot of people have been asking me what's the better translation when it comes to these type of translations of either Greek or Latin and such. Now, there's no such thing as the best translation. Um, preferably, you want to have more than one translation from different time periods. So you can see um, essentially what's lost in translation how do different translators um, change the words or the prose style or the meaning behind some of the terms and such and uh, the tone as well. Now, let's go to the physical appearances of these first uh, and then I'll read some of the translations exactly line for line from both of these and then you can tell me um, in, the, in the comments below or you can even send me a private message in terms of which one you prefer. So let's start with the Folio Society here. So like all Folio Society books, they come in a slipcase. As you can see here, it says, let's just put that aside here, Marcus Aurelius Meditations on the Folio Society. It comes in the brown slipcase here, and we'll put that aside here. And as you can see, it's quarter bound in leather with the gold strip, and then the paper front piece here with his face on it, Marcus Aurelius and then on the back as well. You can find my individual videos for this book in the description below. Uh, at the top you have this nice brown burnt edge and then the cream colored paper on the side and bottom. Now if we open it up, we'll see the brown end papers here. But what we're really interested in, who is the translator of this? So it says, translated with an introduction and notes by Maxwell, uh, Maxwell Stanford. Uh, and then you got the preface and the engravings and such. So we're going to read apart from here and then apart from here. But let's take a look at this appearance as well. So this is from the Eastern Press. Uh, let's just uh, tell you when this book was particularly published. Um, this is the third printing from 2003. Okay, so you got the green leather binding here. You have the, um, the embossing on the front in gold and you see the statue here. As you can see, the meditations of Marcus Aurelius, and then the same in the back. Of course, they have the gold gilded on the edges and the ribbon marker, things that the Folio Society doesn't usually do. So we have the Silkmore end papers, and this one came from with a notes from the archives, and it's just telling you about the translation. This is uh, translated by Mary Casabon. Um, let's take a look at the orange Silkmore end papers there. A nice contrast. And then we'll take a look here. So as you can see there, translated by Mary Casabon. And then it tells you about the engravings and such. And I'll tell you when this particular book is was published. Uh, it says it's copyright 1959, but uh, this is a 1996. Um, yes, 1996, I believe it is. Okay. So let's, I'll read you the first few lines of the first part of the book and then I'll do the same with the Folio Society one and then you let me know which one you like better. So let's go back past the introduction here. Uh, here, okay. Of my fa uh, grandfather Varys, I have learned to be gentle and meek and to refrain from all anger and passion from the fame and memory of him that begot me, I have learned both shamefastness and manlike behavior. Of my mother, I have learned to be religious and bountiful, and to forbear not only to do, but to intend any evil, to content myself with a spare diet, and to fly all such excess as incidental to great wealth. Of my great-grandfather, both to frequent public schools and auditories, and to get me good and able teachers at home, and that I ought not to think much if upon such occasions I were at excessive charges. Okay, so that's the first part there. Personal, it's, it's 
It's written nicely, but personally, it's a more archaic translation, but a lot of people like that. So that's the Eastern Press. And I'll read the exact same first book from this translation. Let's pass by the preface here and the introduction. So you can go back and listen to me read that first part again, and then quickly jump to this part here. Book one, okay. Courtesy and serenity of temper I first learned to know from my grandfather Varus. Manliness without ostentation I learned from what I have heard and remember of my father. My mother sent me an example of piety and generosity, avoidance of all uncharitableness, not in actions only, but in thought as well, and a simplicity of life quite unlike the usual habits of the rich. To my grandfather I owed the advice to dispense with the education of schools and have good masters at home instead, and to realize that no expense should be grudged for this purpose. Uh, so that's the first part there. Now, it's a little bit more modern, this translation here. They're both nice to read, and you could right away tell a lot of the differences, but you see uh, where they're both coming from. Of course, it'd be nice to have the original Greek translation if you read Greek. That's probably the most ideal, because at least you'd be thinking about the translation as you're reading it. So that's uh, both those translations from both the Folio Society and the Eastern Press. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any requests for any other translations, uh, please feel free to uh, let me know. I have an upcoming video of a comparison between Cicero's On uh, on the Good Life and from the Folio Society and another Folio Society of Cicero, Cicero's Orations. So please uh, stay tuned uh, for that video. Don't forget to rate, to comment, and to subscribe. And as always, guys, keep on reading.